right, and here is my cream, sweet cream or sweet corn casserole. I have 14 little circles out of this. Oh my gosh, that's two teaspoons of cinnamon. And here we are. I didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily. I gotta get to chopping those onions. And you know what I forgot on my plate? A piece of sausage. And oh my gosh, these are delicious. Isn't that cute? And there, that's the finished one. I wish I had videotaped in there. Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Sorry about the uh, shade here. I've got some light coming in here onto my tra table, but it's not coming onto my face. And I've already uh, fixed it so that it would give light down here, so I'm not about to move it. And it's not important because all I'm going to say is that I had a $10 challenge that I gave myself to go into Dollar Tree and uh, get some little items and try to create some little storage. I've been going in there buying little boxes and little baskets, but I also wanted something for some little trinkets where I can just throw them in. And I've got my little supplies, so I'm just going to get right to it. We are going to be making a couple of uh, trinket storage trays. How's that? Okay, let's get to it. All right, so let me show you what I found at the Dollar Tree. And again, everything there is just $1, so this is a great deal. Like I said, I gave myself a $10 challenge. I ended up buying about nine items here, so I actually spent under my $10. So this is what I found. I found these stackable organizer drawers, and these are just a clear plastic. They have a little handle right here, which can be opened. I got four of these. Let me go ahead and pop one open right now so we can see how this little drawer works because I actually haven't seen how it works. And I actually returned uh, again to that same Dollar Tree where I bought this because I thought, well, I want more of them. And I didn't find any at all. So I'll have to go to the other Dollar Tree in my town or maybe even try one out of town because I really would like to get more of these. Now look at that. A little acrylic drawer. Isn't it pretty? I got four of them. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. So besides that, I also got these uh, organizer trays. And these are so you can just put like your paper clips and rubber bands and whatever bobby pins. According to this little picture here, you could put little things like, like I just mentioned. You know, it could either be for your cosmetic drawers or it can be in your kitchen or your in your office drawers, you know, to organize in there. But I'm gonna make uh, like a little stand. I got two of them. And I wanna make like a little stand where one of them is lower and one of them is at a higher position. And then I can put things in either one and put them on my shelves. Uh, but I need something here on the side to hold them. And I could've used anything. I could've used foam board and cut it up to, to the right size and then covered it up with some fabric or even some craft paper, but I did find these um, acrylic 4x6, uh, it's a magnetic photo frame, and I've already opened one up, so this is what it looks like, it's got a magnet on the back, I can remove that, uh, and it's got this little paper that I can also remove, so you can see that it's clear. My sister-in-law gave me the idea, because I was saying, oh, I'm just going to remove this um, magnet off, you know, from it, and she said, why not leave it and have them facing outward, and maybe you can use them to... You know attach something that's so heavy you know something that it could be just grabbing you know maybe uh a cute little oh my god like you know those uh i can't even speak you know those refrigerator magnets that you put in your fridge maybe i can put some on here to make it decorative or maybe i just have like a small like some tweezers or something that's not very heavy that this magnet will hold and i can have it hold on to this so you know what i'm going to go ahead and leave it on both sides and see how that works out and if it's useful, great. If not, it doesn't really matter. It's not really going to show. It's going to be on the sides. But of course, if you were doing it, you can remove it. You can remove it. And uh, you can get some um, citrus. What is it called? Goo Gone. Yes. It smells like citrus. Some Goo Gone to help you remove the adhesive on the back. But I'm not going to worry about it because, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. The other thing that I bought was some of this Fix All adhesive. This I also got it at the Dollar Tree. So everything was a dollar. I've got nine items. I spent $9. I kept my $10 limit ch for my challenge, and I also got my hot glue gun ready and my hot glue sticks. And the reason that I have those ready is because I want some immediate contact, but I also want it to, to be some good contact, so I'm gonna combine it with this uh, super glue uh, tube. So let's get that open. Let's pop this baby open. 
I don't know how well these things are going to work. <laughs> my little tray, that is. But I do know my drawers are going to be great. I'm going to use the same little cardboard here to uh, rest my glue on because some of it is already squirting out of the, the lid. And uh, I can already see it possibly squirting everywhere. So I'm going to save that little cardboard there. And I'm going to open up these other items and uh, I'll be back. Okay, well, I'm back because I wanted to show you something really quick. Uh, these trays have these uh, stickers, you know, for the uh, description and obviously the UPC code on there. This is a hard one to take out. <laughs> it is so hard to take out. Let me tell you, it keeps tearing up on me. So I can already see myself. I'm going to be soaking these in a Goo Gone to remove. But I'm going to go ahead and just try to remove as much as I can for now. And I'm going to go ahead and build my item. And then, of course... You will make sure that you remove these first and uh, get your goo gone in there to make sure you remove it all completely. Uh, I've looked around and you know what? I don't even have any goo gone, so I'm going to have to go get some. But I'll do it after I've um, um, put these together. And of course, I could always leave them in there and just put a little little cardstock in there to cut it to the size. Throw it under their little piece of fabric or something to cover that up. It's not going to really show once I put stuff in there. So I'm not going to worry about it right now, but you know, you're going to want to remove that. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together what I feel is the easiest part. And guess what? It has been super hot. I went out for a little bit of shopping today, get some necessities. I noticed there was some clouds, and I said, gosh, I hope those clouds are going to bring rain. And guess what? Just now, it has started to rain outside. So uh, it's, it's a nice little feeling. I'm sitting in here doing my little crafts, doing my little video, and there's a nice little little trickle of rain outside, and it sounds really pretty. Um, you probably can't hear it. But uh, anyway, it's very relaxing. So this is a great time to create some crafts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some of this... Uh, super glue fix all adhesive and i'm going to apply it you can remove all the drawers if you don't want them sliding out on you while you're putting this all together uh let's go ahead and uh slide some on here like so there we go and i'm also going to add a little bit for my glue gun i don't really want it to show too much so i'm only putting it on the edges but I'm also going to put some glue for my glue gun just so that I can have a quick adhesion on here and they won't move around on me and I can at least see sort of the finished product. I'm not going to put any in the front because I don't want too much glue and I don't want it dripping out the front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one. I've taken the little drawer out of it, making sure this is the open side with the open side and placing it directly on top and just lining them together, making sure they're even, you know, lined up evenly okay if you have any glue squirting out the sides what you can do is you can take a piece of cardboard like so and then just kind of like scrape along and lift it up okay but i don't really have that you can see the glue in there look at that so you can see it in there but once i get the little drawers into here and they're full of little items i'm not going to be seeing that glue so i'm not going to worry about that right now so that's basically what I'm doing as you can see the glue the using the glue gun helps me to keep them together while they dry I'm gonna take the other two and I want to make a four stacked drawer piece so I'm gonna get another one and I'm gonna put it on top of this one so again I want to get some of this glue and I'm not going on the very edge I'm kind of going on the inside it has like a little groove here where it kind of where you can stack them and they stay together uh, you can feel it when you when you grab one and when you touch the bottom of the other one you can feel where the grooves are there's a little groove further in right here and on the top part it has the groove further out so that these grooves kind of meet up and you know they're against each other and it helps the little trace to kind of stay in place i don't really think that they really really help that much so that's why i am gluing them together Okay, let's get some more glue in my glue gun because I'm running out. Okay, here we go. Just a thin line, and I've got this fine point glue gun, so it's really good and helpful. Again, this is this, the open side. This is the open side, so I want to make sure that I do have those together. I'm going to put these and then line them. 
I've actually got Game of Thrones on right now. How many of you watch Game of Thrones? Am I the only crazy nut here doing it? Oh, I love watching it. Okay, uh, I've actually, I watch it on Sunday nights, and this is actually the same show from Sunday night. I'm just kind of watching it. We're not really watching it, actually. I'm not even paying attention anymore. And actually, <laughs> it's over, and some of, some of the movies started. Okay, so here's three of them stacked, to, stacked up together. So you can stack them as many as you want. Uh, you can do two, three. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do four. You could probably do more, or what you would want to maybe want to do is make, make another equal stack and then maybe gluing them together and creating uh, like a little drawer case, a little cubby of drawers. Again, I'm moving, uh, moving off the, the uh, drawer, and then I'm going to put some more glue on top of this one here, kind of on the inside of the edge. There we go this up well and now I'm going to put some um, kind of on the outer edge a little thin bit of this this glue now um, the, there are uh, glue strips made by Gorilla Glue and I haven't tried them but I think next time that I'm at uh, maybe at Walmart or Hobby Lobby one of the two I'm gonna look at, look for them and I'm gonna try them because I've been hearing about them and I um, certainly want to try those instead of using just your regular silicone type of glue. I'm going to glue the sticks. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now you could decorate this. You could certainly bling it up. Get some rhinestones and, you know, decorate the front of it, maybe even the sides, and just make it really pretty and sparkly. It's up to you. You could get some fabric even and cover, you know, the sides and the top and down the side on the other side. And maybe leave the drawers clear so you can see through them and see what's inside. Um, I think they're so pretty. They're really cute. This is my little drawer system. I'm going to slide the drawers back in there. And um, I'm going to line it because it does have these little little edges inside where you would rest the drawer so that it slides in and out. Just like a real drawer, you know, chest of drawers would. Which I think is pretty cool. Oh, come on, honey. Get in there. This one doesn't want to get in. Let me pull it back out. I might be doing it wrong. There we go. I was. I was doing something wrong. Okay. Sliding the last one in there. Here we go. I've got my little dresser. My little chest of drawers. And I can put anything I want in there. And of course, I'm going to put some craft items. And I happen to have a big can a big uh, toolbox where I put all my rhinestones and stuff. But I don't really have as much as I used to. So I think... I'm going to put them in here and that is why I kind of wanted four more of these because I felt like I needed four more to put all of my rhinestones in. So I'm going to attempt to try and find some more and do that. If not, I'll, I'll see what I can put in here and just leave my rhinestones for that. Here's my other items. And uh, here's my little frames. So what I wanted to do, I'm going to make sure the magnet on here is facing on the outside. I wanted to glue this on here and then glue... The, the top one to here but I'm noticing that this has like a little bit you know because it has this little it has this little lip here so I'm gonna see how how I can rest this here so that it captures both I don't want this at the very bottom because well actually maybe I do you know what I'm gonna put it see how it's got this rounded part and then over here it opens up well I want to put that rounded part um, at the bottom so that's like my little feet because I feel like because it's so nice and rounded and uh, you know it's not gonna maybe scratch the wood on my shelf and this part is kind of not sharp but it might and then I can always hide that under the little lip of this of this one here just kind of slide it underneath there or rest that the lip of that on top of this edge sort of kind of maybe I'm not sure okay so that's what I want to do I want to do that and then the other one on this side so, um, do I want it on the bottom? I can reach in there just fine if I put it right here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I get these. And they're obviously not going to get glued to the side, but they're, ob they're going to get glued to this little lip. So let's try that and hopefully everything turns out just fine. I'm going to use my hot glue gun right on that little edge. And you're not even seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Right on that little edge there. Fill up with the glue. 
right on that edge. And then I'm going to put this flat on the floor and align it. Not at an angle, but kind of straight. Okay. Just align it like that. I'm going to do the same for the other side. I'm going to take my little acrylic frame, make sure the magnet is facing me outward, and this rounded part is my little legs down here. So I'm going to now put some glue here. This may be a fail. We don't know, but, you know, this is why I'm trying it. And, of course, you may figure out a better way to kind of do this. This is an inspiration for something you can try. Look at this. Uh, it's gluing on. Making sure it's not really moving around. Now, what I want to do is I want to now take this glue and run a bead on the inside here. There we go, the thunder. I can hear the thunder. I'm going to turn it around and just so that I can reach in there. And do on the other side, right here, run a bead of this glue right in there. Okay, and that's it. That's what we're going to do with that part. And we're going to let it uh, rest for a little bit. And then, of course, I want to put this other tray. Let me push it back here. Can you see that? Maybe I need to adjust the camera. This is going to go up here. Let's, let me adjust the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I've actually moved my camera onto a different tripod, which was coming apart, so I took the opportunity to go ahead and uh, glue it back together. So I used not only this glue, but I used my glue gun for it. So now it's standing up just fine, and that's all I needed, so now I can continue using the same tripod. So as you can see, I've got this little acrylic frame and this other acrylic frame glued to each end of this one tray and this is just fine and it's drying up well and good so that's that's a good thing now the other one i want to put it in here and i want to maneuver this so that the little lips the little tiny little bit of a, a lip here is resting on top of here so i'm going to put some glue just on right on the inside here on the bottom of this little lip and adhere it to here and hold it for a little bit and then I'll do the other side so it's got some give so it'll be able to move it so let's get that going I'm gonna put glue with my glue gun squeak that's squeaking I'm trying to push that glue out faster than it wants to come out and then a little bit of this glue too Now, once I, I find that other uh, glue sticks, Gorilla glue sticks, I may not have to use that to fix all at all. I'm going to try it out. Okay, so getting this on here. Sorry about my arm. Oops. I need to see what I'm doing here. Other side. I don't really want to let it go. I feel like it's going to fall apart on me. Okay, let's just put glue gun glue, not the other glue on here. Well, let's try to do a nicer job this time. Or, here we go. Get it on there. So much better. So much better. Look at that. And I can actually let it go when it's fine. Okay, let's, uh, let me show you what I've done here so you can see a close-up. Let me show you the first part. See the side? Look at all that glue all over the place where it keeps slipping and sliding on me. I should have just used the glue gun glue. See, it's happening again. You know why? Because that other glue is interfering with the glue gun glue. And because it takes a while to cure and completely dry, uh, it keeps sliding. So I got, a, I got this big old mess. Meanwhile, on the other side, look at this. Yeah, there's glue there, but look at the difference. It's so much nicer. You don't want to. I mean, I, I want to. I don't want to see too much glue, but I'd rather see that than see this. So let's go ahead and kind of fix this. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to put it in my shelf and I'm not going to be looking at the sides. I am going to add more of this glue gun glue. Glue gun glue. I'm going to add more glue with my with my gun. How's that? 
and then I'm going to put it on here. And hopefully that will dry up. Okay, what to do and what not to do. Look at that. I have a nice little tower, and if I had taken off those little magnets, of course you wouldn't see them, and you could do that. Take them off, use some Goo Gone to clean up any adhesive. You remove these little stickers with your Goo Gone also, and uh, you'll have a nice clear little tray that you can put things on the top layer, you can put things on the bottom layer, put these on your shelf, maybe use it for whatever you want in your office or uh, even in your uh, bathroom. You know, you could put some cotton balls, Q-tips and such, and little soaps or things like that, your bath bath bombs or bath balls or whatever they're called, put them in there. And then I've got my little drawer, which I'm so happy with this, my little chest of drawers, see, I can do that, and only the drawers fall out, but these little parts are sticking, and that's what I wanted, I didn't want to have, be opening the drawers and everything just sliding off, and then everything falling out, so, uh, this is awesome, this is going to just rest on my shelves, uh, that I've got back here, I got those full of beads, that's for my jewelry making, but I'm going to redo that, I've been, uh, reorganizing my craft room and I've been getting rid of stuff and uh, some things I've just been moving them around and re reorganizing them. Of course those beads are going to stay in those containers but they're probably going to move down the shelf and I've got a container way back over there, white one, back behind this blue lid, this one with a blue lid, that white one right there, right there, see it? That has all my little rhinestones and things. And that's what I originally want to put in here, but I, I don't think this is enough. I think I, I feel like I need another four. If I can find another four and make another little chest of drawers, it'll be perfect because then I can just put them all in there. And anytime I want some little rhinestones, I can just look in there and see what do I have and just use that rather than opening the whole toolbox on top of my counter. And this is so much easier to just move around and check things and it takes up less space in my workspace. I'm still, I'm still really happy with this, this uh, tier... A uh, tray thing. I'm two tier. I'm gonna call it a two tier tray. There we go. I'm still happy with this. I'm not happy with the glue situation, but we learned something, right? We both did. Yes. So, um, what to do and what not to do. And I like the idea of the magnets. Yes, I can even put some little pins or something on here. Maybe my uh, needles when I put some thread on them and I've been sewing and I don't want to. You know, sometimes you want to leave the the thread in the needle because you're. You can still use it. Maybe I can attach these to the sides here and that'll hold that needle. So, um, well, there you go. These are my two crafts. What do you think? I hope you give me a big old thumbs up. If not, at least give me a thumbs up for that. And this end, forget the other end. Pretend it's not there. You know what? Give me a thumbs up for showing you what not to do. Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Please put a nice comment down below. Whatever your opinion is, it's obviously okay. Just don't be mean. Um, just, if you have any suggestions on what you try, there we go. Uh, basically, don't put a link because I was asking, oh, put your links down below and I'll check your videos out. Uh, you know, just, just say, hey, check my videos out. And I'll check them just by clicking on your um, icon. <laughs> Leave a nice comment down below. That's all it is. Subscribe and share on your social medias, your Facebook. I have Instagram and Twitter. You can also look those up there on the description box below. Hello. And um, as always, enjoy. Mm -hmm.